cardiac tumors and masses the differential diagnosis of a cardiac mass so we need to consider is there a cardiac mass what is the anatomical location is it extending along the great vessels is it growing into the heart is it attached to the pericardium is it attached to any valve what tissue type and is the is there any calcification and we need to consider the history of malignancy melanoma and renal cell carcinoma now the intracavitatory masses in the heart could be a thrombus it could be primary benign tumors primary malignant tumor or it could be a metastatic disease myxomas are 50% of all benign cardiac tumors typically arises from left atrium less than 1 cm up and can be up to 10 cm of size sessile or pedunculated and on auscultation you can hear a tumor plop clinical manifestation depends on the size and location here you can see a uh, atrial myxoma now uh, one condition which is associated with uh, intracardiac uh, tumors or uh, atrial myxoma is kernic complex so what are the parts uh, or, or components uh, it could be sp spotty skin pigmentation cutaneous myxomas cardiac myxomas mammary myxoma testicular tumor schwannoma growth hormone secreting pituitary tumors or could be p primary pigmented nodular adenocortical disease lipomas they can be found in any part of the body and uh, heart is no exception to that they are well encapsulated cells asymptomatic right atrium and right ventricle are the common sites can be associated with pericardial effusion and could give rise to arrhythmias could be large or small and there are no chances of recurrence here you can see uh, intracardiac uh, lipoma again intracardiac lipoma in the septum papillary fibroelastosis this is the third common variety and uh, accounts for 10% see any moon like valves are affected and there's obstruction to flow and uh, if associated with the valve uh, then valve repair is needed and can be associated with infection of cytomegalovirus rhabdomyoma is a most uh, is most common in children it could be sporadic associated with tuberous sclerosis multiple and uh, there could be firm gray and nodular in appearance can be associated with heart failure valvular stenosis and require early surgery fibroma is the second most common uh, tumor it usually is solitary affects ventricle and ventricular septum classification uh, sorry calcification is associated and uh, which could lead to decreased contractility they can be enucleated and if extensive uh, needs transplantation mesothelioma of av nodule they are small multicentric they could uh, lead to heart block or ventricular fibrillation and could be a cause of sudden death cardiac pacing do, do not prevent ventricular fibrillation pheochromocytoma is another tumor it is rare could be associated with uncontrolled hypertension and uh, if we do the differential sam uh, chamber sampling and uh, test Uh, then uh, obviously we can uh, we can diagnose pheochromocytoma it's highly vascular and it could lead to bleeding as well paraganglionomas ganglionomas they are neuroendocrine in origin associated uh, with posterior mediastinal masses could give rise to atypical chest pain they are very highly vascular and cardiac auto transplantation is required hemangiomas they are rare and they can occur anywhere in the heart can be associated with right sided heart failure could give rise to a blush on angiography 
and patient could be asymptomatic. Castleman tumors is a lymphoproliferative disorder. It could be benign or malignant and could lead to coronary artery invasion and can be diagnosed with a test called as BMIPP. Malignant tumors, the first of the malignant tumor is angiosarcoma, common in men, right-sided, bulky, could, uh, invasion could be present and the survival is poor. Malignant fibrous histiocytoma is left-sided, death occurs by local cardiac disease and autotransplantation is required. Rhabdomyoma, they do not evolve from uh, rhabdo Rhabdomyosarcomas, they do not evolve from rhabdomyoma and they are aggressive tumors. Other tumors are sarcoma, lymphoma, pulmonary artery sarcoma and malignant tumors. Thank you.